Uh, yeah, my wife always says I got a gutter mouth at home, so I'm going to say that was an AT double hockey stick weekend of baseball instead of what I really was probably <laughs> thinking. Um, that was just a heck of a ball game uh, all weekend long. I mean, um, obviously a great opponent, and, and I want to speak to UNC and, and just the tough hitters that we had to face. And, the well-coached team, the, we knew they'd sacrifice, squeeze, you know, we were trying to defend it all, we were putting shifts on, and, and, they, and they did a great job, obviously, of getting to Perk today early and being aggressive. Um, I thought that was the plan, and we were trying to, to make pitches, and uh, obviously they, they, they got their job done early. But I got to pivot now and just talk about my ball club, or our ball club, and, and just uh, the fight that these guys showed all year. Um, you know, we we talked early in the year when we came together and, and talked about what our goals and aspirations are and, and how, uh, you know, people use big words. You know, they want to be the best. They want to go to Omaha. They put it in all these locker rooms at every place. And we decided that we had to work so hard. I can't tell you, I can't describe in a press conference how hard this group has worked. But we talked about that and said we walked the walk and, and grind it out. And then the second thing we talked about <laughs> we say it every day. We, uh, we want to be what's called blue collar. And uh, to me, when I got here, that means you're just absolutely tough. I came from Maine. And in Maine, you got some negative 20 degrees. And I was told, just when you think you got enough firewood, you better keep chopping wood because it gets so damn cold, you got to fill up another five cord. So that was blue collar when I was up there. That's why I was talking about how hard you work. And these guys, it took, it took some time. I mean, you're not going to invent Roman one day. And, and certainly, I give all the credit to our players how tough they became and how, and, and it's not fake energy. It's not fake toughness. It's not pounding your chest. It's about focusing. It's about locking in when you have to do it. And uh, it's, uh, it's about attitude. You know, it's contagious. You shake somebody's hand really soft, they're going to shake it back. You shake it aggressively and pat them on the shoulder, they're going to copy you. That's our attitude, and, and these guys bred on each other. They created this atmosphere, um, and, and they walked the walk. They walked the walk. And the foundation, I said there's 101 years at uh, Stetson Baseball. And Coach Dunn's here, and he's had a lot, a lot of those great years. Um, but I got to go on a limb and be just a little bit selfish. I told these guys that's the greatest team in the history of Stetson Baseball. Um, so I got to kind of argue that one maybe later on when we get back. But what they accomplished, the foundation that these guys set for us moving forward, um, it's, a, it's a head coach's dream. Uh, it's a recruiting dream to tell this story and share this story down the road. Um, and, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to move forward and build off the positive that we had from our season and certainly a, a competitive tournament. Um, we've now been in a Super Regional. So we check that off our box, and we now know a little bit more about how to win a Super Regional. Um, we hosted a Regional. We got that checked off. We know how to do that, and maybe we'll do it better next time. All right, so we got one more step for this program moving forward, and, and uh, we know we're going to get there someday.